You haven't seen the roadmap. Okay. Okay, so here's the Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access Roadmap. And this is kind of why, I don't know, I, I'm, trust me, I love Kerbal. I'm going to buy this game day one. Let's just <laughs> preface it with that. But uh, here's the roadmap. And here's what they're planning on doing. So wait, I'm like, it's kind of. So early access. So when it releases, so when it comes out on February, all you're getting is just, is just early access. That's it. Only this, only the early access part. So when it releases, all we are getting on early access it's sad when you have to read the bullet points that it actually gives you. It's sad because these bullet points are like improved user experience. Okay. Um, that's like, well, that's like a, whatever, I guess. Um, explore revamped Kerbola system with new parts. That is awesome. That I am looking forward to hundred percent. And then they add all new tutorials and onboarding. You know what I mean? Two out of three of the things that they're putting in the first early access, it's like, I could care less about. <laughs> I could care less about the user experience. You know what I mean? Um, all we're getting is, is straight up Kerbal 1, but without science. No, there's no science. This is coming later. Science gathering, tech tree progression, that's coming later. Colonies, colony parts, orbital vehicle construction, that's coming later. Interstellar travel, with the new star sister of Deb Deb, that's coming later. Interstellar scale parts, later. Exploration, um, new star system to be revealed, resource gathering, right? And then finally, multiplayer, like way down here, multiplayer, um, more launch locations, explore with friends. And a lot of people have been saying, like on Reddit, and I can kind of see, you know, the naysayers of this, which I, I don't know if I am one yet. I don't know if I'm, I'm one yet. I'm, I'm yet to say it, but. You know, they're saying that down the line, like, they're just going to release this game and it's going to be, like, some most of this stuff is going to end up being DLC that you're going to have to pay for anyways. So that's the scary thing. And another weird thing is, look at this right here. Look at this. Look at that little section right there. That is like, what could that be? What's coming later? How, how long is the early access period? Yeah, that I do not know. Um, I don't know. And I don't think they know. And that's why I'm kind of like, that's, that is, this is the reason mainly why I'm like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Do we get into it? Do we not? I'm going to get it, but it's like, there's no science. There's no tech tree progression. There's no nothing. There's just like, get in and sandbox it, I guess. Get in and just sandbox to uh, the planets you've already been to in the first Kerbal. <laughs> that's what hurt. That's what hurts. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be new stuff to explore and like that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, that, that could hurt. Science and colonies are free in one. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm I'm really hoping that this will be all. This is going to be all included in the game. I'm really hoping that they do that. And if there's DLC, maybe it's like skins or whatever. I don't know or ships. I'm I'm not sure how they're planning on doing that, but I'm keeping my faith open. I mean, it's going to be worth just for the amount that I'll play it. It'll be worth just the early access portion alone. So I'm not too worried about it just different you know it's just different it's just a different thing anyways that's uh yeah that's kerbal that's kerbal in a nutshell